Our house was just really lonely, and we didn't like that very much, coming home and no one being here. From being real quiet and just lonely and just kind of still thinking about the other dogs passing. On Facebook, we're, we're, we liked your guys' page, and we decided, well, let's let's go and look one day after work. And then I looked it, looked it up, and there was his story at the Cuyahoga shelter. It had a little picture of him, and it says something like, uh, this dog needs a home. Um, he has a year or two to live. I sat down on the floor, and he came and just sat on me right away. So, and then he got up and walked around again, but then he kept coming back to sit on me. And that's when I knew, okay, you're mine. He just literally jumped on my lap, and I was like, oh, that's him. It was a thought process while we were there. They were very honest about his medical condition, so I knew exactly what we were getting. We do go to our vet two to three uh, every two or three months. And the vet checks by um, checking the growth of the nodes. I don't think he knows there's anything wrong with that. Just needs a, a little extra love. The shelter has just become such an um, unbelievable place to adopt a dog. One of the main things I think that sets CCA apart is our just innovation. We always are looking to do new things, new programs. Just like every volunteer that comes to the door, every staff member here comes to basically make the dogs have the best quality of life while they're here. Our medical team goes above and beyond every day. Helping the special needs dogs. When we took him to the vet, they said he was a young four-year-old. So basically, if he was at the shelter for 16 months, someone dumped him off a year and a half to his life. Had nothing, had no hair basically on him basically on his last leg. When a dog comes to this shelter, all of the deputies and staff get to know the dog. Some dogs come to us not very well socialized. If they end up here, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's because they've been failed. Some dogs are super scared of other dogs when they first get here. The big things we do here is our Unleashed Playgroup program, which the idea is to get every dog every day out of their kennels and socialize and play with other dogs. Learn the basics of being a dog. A dog is supposed to play with other dogs. They need playtime. The Play Yard Project is something I'm very passionate about. Oh, crazy. Thanks to not only a grant, but also our friends are providing a lot of financial backing. We recently were able to get some awesome, awesome stuff. The three guiding principles of Friends of CCAS are compassion, support, and innovation. Our play yards are now all split and they all have double gates, which make playgroups much safer. And the idea is to make them more social with our animals, social with our people. We have amazing volunteers that walk these dogs. We teach our volunteers a variety of handling styles to make our dogs successful. Just to get the dog out of the shelter for a few hours is unbelievable for them. You get to see what type of behaviors they have. So I can come back and put on Facebook, look at this dog healed the whole time for me. He seems housebroken. He's great on a leash. There's no tugging, there's no pulling. He didn't go after any dogs while I was walking them. All these good information about the dogs. It's fantastic. Adoption rates have gone up. Unsuccessful adoption rates have gone down, all because the dogs are less stressed. Because then they could say, you know what, this is this sounds like the kind of dog that I would want to adopt. Making sure they're successful before they make it to the adoption floor is so important to us. When he came here, it was almost like he knew. It was almost like he's, he'd been here before. He was very comfortable. And now he uh, eats better than us and everything <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so. Does. The reason that I first started volunteering at CCAS, I was so impressed from day one at how well the deputies, as well as the staff and volunteers, got to know the dogs. They just don't give up. They do so much for us. They provide financial backing. Friends of CCAS steps in where the shelter can't provide. They provide backing like for our leashes so that dogs are each able to have their own leash when they come in. All these leashes on this wall, it just provides so much more continuity for us. But also um, makes it easier for our volunteers to get the dogs in and out of the cage. We secured $12,000, which CCAS is using right now to install side transfer doors in all the regular size kennels. When we have a few extra kennels and maybe a dog needs more space than one of our kennels generally provides. Deputies can open up a door between uh, two kennels. So dogs can potentially have two or three cages and instantly double the amount of living space. A lot more freedom to express their normal behaviors, a lot more enrichment in those cages. They have feelings. They love. They, they feel happiness. They feel joy. And an overall better quality of life for the dogs while it's waiting for adoption here. Friends of CCAS also collaborate collaborated with two other organizations to bring to Northeast Ohio a workshop that taught volunteers how to better market 
dogs available for adoption. All these things are awesome, and it's only because there is a Friends of the CCAS. And money is needed to help good people do the good thing. You give us things that the county can't provide. It's a great organization that you guys have. We just absolutely love you guys. Thank you to the shelter for being there, for taking such good care of Stosh for the time that you had him. No one really gave up on him there. Maybe the people that came to look for a dog did, but... They're the innocent creatures of this planet, and you know, they don't have much say in what happens to them. They're living creatures who deserve a second chance. I'm sure you guys do wonderful work there for so many other animals, and good luck and keep up the good work. We're very grateful that citizens in Northeast Ohio are supporting Friends of CCAS in our mission to extend the compassion and innovation that we see at CCAS happening every day in the lives of these dogs. Thank you.